There's a valid justification why France is one of the most well-known tourist destinations on the planet. With its staggering design, wonderful open country, and delightful food, it has something for everybody. While Paris might be the most popular city in France, there are numerous other astonishing spots to visit too. There are many spots to visit in France. The food is tasty and there are a wide range of structures. It tends to be difficult to pick which one you need to go to first, yet it is significant on the grounds that France has such a lot of history. There are additionally a great deal of activities, such as eating croissants or visiting the Louvre Museum which has a lot of popular works of art. So without further ado, here goes our 15 top tourist destinations in France which are an unquestionable requirement to visit. Number 1. Paris. The landmarks in Paris are basically perpetual, whether it's the Eiffel Tower or Arc de Triomphe, the two of which have propelled imitations everywhere, Disneyland Paris, Notre Dame Cathedral Building, or Sacre Coeur Basilica, you're certain to track down something that gets your attention. Yet, Paris is something other than its tourist spots. The city is bursting at the seams with culture, arts, and fashion. Among everything things you can manage in Paris is to join a transport visit or join a night voyage on the River Seine. You could go through days perusing the city's popular art galleries and historical centers, or shopping on the stylish Champs-Élysées. What's more, obviously, no excursion to Paris would be complete without attempting a portion of the city's prestigious cuisine. Number 2. Louvre Museum The Louvre Museum is the biggest and seemingly the most popular historical center on the planet. It is situated in Paris, France, and is home to the absolute most well-known works of art on the planet, including the Mona Lisa. The site of the Louvre Exhibition Hall was initially a castle, worked in the late 12th century by King Philip II. This royal residence was added to throughout the long term and in 1793, the Louvre was transformed into a public historical center. The museum is presently home to more than 380,000 artworks, including the Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, and the Winged Triumph of Samothrace. Number 3. Mont Saint-Michel. Mont Saint-Michel is a rough flowing island in Normandy, France. It is the most visited vacation destination in France after the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame Paris. The island has been an essential fortification since the 8th century and a Benedictine monastery since the 11th century. The monastery was established by the Archangel Michael. The island has been associated with the central area starting around 1879 by a bridge. The island is best known for its Abbey of Saint Michel, which gets more than 3 million visitors every year. The Abbey is a significant journey site as well as a famous tourist destination. The monastery is perched on a rough outcrop and must be reached at low tide. It was underlying the Romanesque style in the 11th century and is a fine illustration of Norman engineering and architecture. Number 4. Chantilly Palace. Chantilly is a commune in the Oise department in the Hauts de France locale of northern France. It is found 25 miles. 40 kilometers, north of Paris. Chantilly is most popular as the site of the Chateau de Chantilly, a royal residence and estate which is currently open to the public. The chateau was built in 1528 by Pierre Bontam, a secretary to Francois I. It turned into the property of Louis II de Bourbon, Prince de Condé in 1602. 
The Chateau de Chantilly is encircled by an enormous park that incorporates a racecourse, a green, and a deer park. There are likewise a few small villages nearby Chantilly, including Gouvier, Saint-Lys, and Lassay. These villages are all worth exploring once that you have the opportunity. Number 5. Chateau de Versailles. The Palace of Versailles is one more top fascination in France. This former illustrious castle was previously the home of French kings and queens for over a hundred years, the palace is currently open to the general population and guests can explore the lavished interiors, manicured gardens, and stunning architecture. There is likewise a historical center nearby that features relics from the royal residence's set of experiences. The Palace of Versailles is located just outside of Paris. To get there, guests can take the RERC train from the Paris downtown area. The train ride requires about 30 minutes and drops guests off right at the palace gates. Number 6. Pont du Gard Roman Aqueduct and Garden of the Three Graces, Aigues Mortes. The Pont du Gard is an old Roman water channel situated in the town of Nîmes in the south of France. It is perhaps of the best safeguarded Roman landmark on the planet and is a high priority destination for anybody visiting the region. The Pont du Gard is a huge design traversing almost 50 meters and is made completely of limestone. The reservoir conduit provided water to the city of Nîmes and is a noteworthy amazing site. There are a couple of different spots in the space that merit visiting. Simply a short stroll from the Pont du Gard is the Garden of the Three Graces, which is a wonderful park with exquisite nurseries and wellsprings. Number 7. Cirque de Gavarnie in Pyrenees Mountains. The Cirque de Gavarnie is a great site situated in the Pyrenees Mountains. A huge limestone amphitheater contains numerous waterfalls and is listed as a World Heritage Site. The recreation area is a delightful region traversing Spain and France and is loaded up with rich woodlands and valleys. There are many strolling ways to appreciate nearby, and it is a popular destination for pilgrims and nature lovers alike. There are numerous great activities close to the Cirque de Gavarnie. One of the most famous exercises is hiking where you may join a hiking tour. There are numerous lovely paths that breeze through the woods and up into the mountains. There are likewise several villages situated nearby, which offer an opportunity to explore traditional French culture. Furthermore, obviously, the close by spa towns offer an opportunity to unwind and revive. Number 8. Colmar. Would you like to visit Amsterdam or Venice without battling through repulsive sightseers with a more French flavor? Colmar is the response. This delightful fantasy town is situated in eastern France close to the German boundary and has been the motivation for some notable books and films, including Studio Ghibli's transformation of Howl's Moving Palace. The historically significant area in this city has lovely little structures that are conveniently aligned alongside its broad trench framework. Each construction in the town offers a waterfront view, and there are a few design milestones out of control, including St. Martin's Church and the Musée Bartholdi that it's basically similar to a mix of Paris, Venice, and Amsterdam, with its own special energy and wonderful verifiable safeguarding. What's more, assuming you love wine, Colmar is the ideal spot to be. It's situated in the Alsace district, a locale notable for its white wine production. There are several vineyards in and around the city that offer visits and tastings. Best of all, large numbers of these are free. Number 9. Strasbourg. 
Strasbourg is a noteworthy city with a rich culture and legacy situated in the core of the Alsace locale. It is situated on the line of France and Germany, making it a best of both worlds kind of city. There are many things to do in Strasbourg, like visiting the historic center, exploring the museums, or taking a boat ride on the river. Travelers ought to visit this city since it is a unique destination that offers a glimpse into the culture and history of both France and Germany. The old city of Strasbourg seems to be a Disney princess film set with thin cobblestone streets and canals. A Segway visit through the city makes it simpler to wander around the town. The Strasbourg Church building is universally perceived as one of the best instances of Gothic design on the planet and you can't miss it when you visit the city. It's quite possibly of the most popular and recognizable design around. Number 10. Avignon. Another particular French city is Avignon, which was previously the papal residence. For a long time, Avignon was home to the papacy, making it fairly like a little Vatican city inside France. The old town of Avignon is jam-packed with amazing designs that you won't find elsewhere in that frame of mind, to its city walls being saved. Generally speaking, there are 44 towers, 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles, of defenses, and 7 entryways that have been safeguarded from Avignon's archaic past. Avignon strolling visit and wine samplings are accessible that capitalize on the excursion to the city worth the effort. The Palais de Papes, which is the biggest Gothic castle in Europe, is all perhaps of the most well-known working in Avignon. The castle was built in the 14th century and was the home of nine popes. Number 11. Cannes. Cannes is a well-known traveler destination in France. Cannes is best perceived for its yearly Can film celebration, which has acquired a standing as one of the most well-known extravagance escapes in the world. You might see VIPs, extremely rich people, and other notable people all through the year in Cannes, however you're basically 100% sure to experience a superstar or two assuming that you visit during the celebration. Cannes is a lovely city with a lot to see and do, even beyond the film celebration. The Promenade de la Croisette is a ravishing walkway that runs along Cannes coastline. This is where you'll track down a considerable lot of the very good quality inns, restaurants, and shops that the city is known for. Number 12. The Loire Valley. The Loire Valley is perhaps of the most lovely spot in France and is a well-known destination for tourists. The valley is home to rolling vineyards, wineries, and beautiful villages. It is additionally known for its shocking palaces, including the Château de Chambord and the Château de Chenonceau. Partake in a directed visit and find out about the valley on your visit. On the off chance that you're searching for a heartfelt escape, the Loire Stream Valley is the ideal spot. There are a lot of exercises to appreciate as a team, including wine sampling, picnicking in the grape plantations, and visiting the palaces. Marseille has the absolute most unmistakable verifiable design in all of France, and you could go through weeks simply meandering around it. Number 13. Chamonix. Chamonix is in the French Alps, and it has a similar topography to Switzerland. Chamonix is a city that's constantly buzzing with tourists, as it's one of the most famous ski resorts in the world. The city is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its natural features and history. Chamonix is also the site of the world's first Winter Olympics, 
which happened back in 1924. It is often considered one of the best winter sports regions in the entire world. Chamonix is home to some of Europe's most beautiful views. In the summer, it's a sight to see the green forests, large meadows, snow-capped peaks, and everything coming together in an amazing way. Everyone should put this on their bucket list. Number 14. Lion. Lyon is often referred to as the gastronomic capital of France, and it's easy to see why. This amazing tourist destination is home to a number of Michelin-starred restaurants, as well as a huge range of traditional bouchons, bistros. Lyon is called the original Hollywood because it also houses the world's oldest film studios, dating back to 1896. There are a few movie museums in Lyon, as well as the annual Lyon Film Festival. Lyon has a number of festivals throughout the year, including Fête de Lumières, Festival of Lights, which takes place at the end of each year and celebrates the arrival of spring. The entire city is illuminated in sparkling lights during the festival, producing one of the world's most spectacular visual spectacles when viewed from a tall building or hill. Number 15. Bordeaux. Bordeaux is a city located on France's western coast, near its border with Spain. The city is often referred to as the Paris of the West, owing to its magnificent architecture and historic structures. There are numerous castles, forts, and other historical monuments spread throughout the region, including 350 national heritage sites within or nearby the city. When you explore the city's old sections, you'll feel as if you've been transported to another time period or a huge open-air museum. The Grand Theatre de Bordeaux, Place de la Bourse, and Les Allées de Tuny are some of the city's finest historic monuments. In the Bordeaux region, the wine industry is by far the most important sector in the city. There are many huge vineyards all around the city, and it's often called the world's wine capital. The incredible Bordeaux cuisine, which is so tasty that top chefs frequently relocate their businesses from tourist trap Paris to Bordeaux, goes with the wine. As a result, it's often regarded one of the finest fine dining spots in France, making it one of the best places to visit in France for foodies. France is an eminent country for its picturesque villages, dazzling cathedrals, and perpetually lovely countryside. No big surprise it's one of the most famous tourist destinations on the planet. From the staggering engineering to the tasty food, you should visit France something like once in the course of your life. And keeping in mind that Paris might be the most popular city in France, there are numerous other astounding spots to visit also. Here are the most ideal getaway spots in France that you'll fall head over heels for. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel, also press notification bell to notify you of any future similar videos.